about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Marcy. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find in each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. No. Lee's only got one target on his mind, Norman Osborne. All right, let's do this. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. Might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? Just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. Uh huh. I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I really hope there was no one around when that happened. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? But the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. That does not look like Mr. Lee. Oh. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Love. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Sometimes the darkest look. Never mind. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. English is hard. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. I see. Yes. 
How how did I figure that out? <laughs> Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. I can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance. That he could never understand. Older MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. That's not true at all. Sorry, stomach hurts. Hmm. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. Get out of here. Like that was difficult to push, Spidey. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Let me get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. It's kind of like... What matters is... You are when the Green Goblin comes Amen. in his house. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they plan next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Yeah. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done.
I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they have glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Yep. <sighs> it's all connected. There's more. Somehow. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know bad boys aren't my type. So what exact I so every time I have to look for those things what <laughs> this is just weird and they're not gonna like be easy to find I guess doing this Felicia you know I'm gonna catch you dude I keep hearing noises outside oh hi doctor how are you Parker exciting news come by the lab uh like now this is my defining moment can't wait to show you cool forearms um, I've got dinner plans can I come by later dinner can wait you need to see this Peter <laughs> uh okay be right there I wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. This is Control. What's the situation in the meatpacking district? He's so cocky that he has his job still. He put on his lab coat and everything. He's like, I still, I still work here. I'll put this on. Shh. Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. All right. Wow. So look at all this new stuff. Can I? Uh, guess not. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. Th that so, arm's huge. Until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. It's a cool looking arm. You ready? Everything okay? No. Damn it! You broke my favorite china dish. It's all your fault, Norman. You son of a naughty word. Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. Hey, uh, 
have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> it sounds like me. Uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. Glue that back together. Uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Uh, add corp to that, and well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this. Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work, don't worry, it'll work. Uh, let me let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Thanks, Doc. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Oh, this is different. I actually get to like. What if it's going the wrong way? I think I'm building this backwards. I made a mistake. Perfect. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Yeah, I'm probably better at it than you. How are you hurting? Do you need a cause do you need a fake arm? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? Dude, yes. It's changing the world. Ha <laughs> ha. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. I'll go ahead and do a couple of these because I don't know how often I can come to the lab, so. Cool. Logic controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. You do four, I got that, so let's see.
boom, shakalaka, boom, boom. These things are awesome. So much more ver simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future. Um, get to that. It's nice as I can just do this. Wait. <laughs> now the prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. Doc dove right in with the intracranial interface. Okay. Hello. This is fun. What am I tennis? Idiot. I'll find out. Can I do it like that? That's interesting. Oh, I get it. Okay, cool. Now we have too much. That's not cool. Still too much. You know what? That was locked in place. And then we'll do... Wait. <laughs> I'm smart. I swear I'm like partially smart. What's that? What's what? What are you looking at? Hello? Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Oh, jeez, no, not AIM. Shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Oops, skipped one. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? I don't know. What is it? Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. I feel like this is just gonna be a science episode. Oh, awesome! Graphene, that's like nano lattice. Now, wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Mm 
Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface. Yeah, decent. I feel like we can do better. Me too, don't worry. Doc's messing around with superconductors. <laughs> don't do that, Doc. I have no idea what I'm doing. No. <laughs> Jeez. My goodness. Is this it? No. It's literally just. I'm, what is happening to me? Hello? That seems right. Ta da! Did one. So we need that. That nope. Boom. Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Yeah, I like how I questioned it. <laughs> and one more. Some kind of polymer. This? It runs on some sort of electricity. That's what I feel like I just heard. <laughs> Jeez. Seems to run on some sort of electricity. No, you don't say. Oh, crap. They're getting more and more complex. It's kind of getting annoying. Jeez. Oh, Just want to grab this one. And, uh, I guess this one. Yes, that seems about right. And then put this one here. Yay! Now this one goes here. And this one goes here. No. I don't know anymore. This one goes here. But wait. This one goes here. Help, I need an adult. I need an adult. I need an adult. I need an adult. Help. <laughs> no, <laughs> I need an adult. Uh, stupid. How do I... I don't understand any of this. Help. Adult. I need it. Ah. I think I have it. Uh... No, 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 you're right there. You're on the verge or something. Freak out time. This is gonna be the best video ever. But wait, I have it. I figured it out. This is awesome. A self-healing 
polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. What's what this stuff? Like 3D print a web shooter. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. That's cool. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bits to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Hmm. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know I don't what that know. means. That's a big needle. <laughs> I don't think Spidey likes needles. There's a lot going on now here. Oh. What's that? What's this? So I don't want to press that. I'm trying to come Parker, over here. We've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen? Something what? straight from the mind. Oh Unchain gosh. all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead what? unleash the awesome power of our minds. I like where he's going with it. Okay, this table has something for me. Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Is there anything in here for me? Hello? Anything? No? Oh, what's this? Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Yeah. Sure. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Uh-huh. 